In this interesting question, given is a right angle triangle where one of the angle is getting trisected. The length of the opposite side is getting divided into 3, 4 and x. Using this limited data, we have to find the value of x. Let's check the solution. We'll solve the question by two methods. The first one will be using angle bisector theorem and the second one will be by trigonometry. So angle bisector theorem states that if CD is the angular bisector, then it divides the opposite side in the same ratio as the ratio of sides which are making this angle. Thus A upon B, that's the ratio of the side, is equals to X upon Y, that's the ratio in which the opposite side is getting divided. So in this question, let's start by making a mirror image of triangle CAD across CA. Now here let's assume if this length CD is A centimeter, then as it's a mirror image, so CF will also be A centimeter. Also let's assume the length CB, it is B centimeter. Now if we we'll look at the full triangle, that is triangle CFB, now in this bigger triangle, the length CD, now this is 2 alpha and this is 2 alpha. So CD is basically angular bisector. Thus the ratio of sides that is CF upon CB. This ratio will be equal to FD upon DB. Now putting the values CF is A and CB is B. So A upon B is equals to 6 upon 4 plus X. Now in same way, if we look at the triangle CDB, that is this yellow shaded triangle. Now in this triangle, CE is angular bisector and thus the ratio of sides that is CD upon CB. This ratio of side will be same as DE upon EB. So putting the values, we get A upon B is 4 upon X. So here LHS is same in both the equations. So comparing these equations and cross multiplying and solving it will get value of x as 8 cm and that's our answer. Now let's look at the second method. So second approach will be using trigonometry where we'll be using these two formulas of 10 to x and 10 3 x to solve the question. Let's start by assuming the length CA as H centimeter. Now in this triangle CAD, the value of 10 alpha will be perpendicular that is AD upon base or we can say that 10 alpha is 3 upon H. Same way if we look at the triangle CEA. So in this triangle, we can say that 10 of 2 alpha is 7 upon H. And yes, same way we can say for triangle CBA, the full triangle. So here we can say 10 of 3 alpha is nothing but 3 plus 4 plus X upon H. Now let's apply the first formula that is of 10 of 2 alpha. So here we'll put the value of 10 X as 3 by H and 10 to X as 7 by H. So we get 7 by H is 2 times of 3 by h upon 1 minus 10 square x that is 3 h square. Simplifying it will get our equation in this form. Solving it will get value of h as 3 root 7 centimeter. Now let's look at the second formula that is of 10 3 x. So in this 10 3 x value we can put this value 3 plus 4 plus x upon h and 10 to x will be 7 by h and 10 x that will be 3 by h. Now in this equation, simplifying the RHS, so we'll get RHS as 10 h upon h square minus 21. Solving this equation, this h will go on other side, so it becomes 10 h square and here this plus 7 will become minus 7. Now in this We'll put the value of h as 3 root 7 to get value of x as 8 centimeter. 
and that's our answer i hope you enjoyed the solution i will see you in next video till then tata bye bye